Okay, so great experience, good uh, versatile big guy as well. And here is Mullins, he'll try three and he's got it off the Red Claws miss. Big shot there and the lead has been cut. 10 on the shot clock for Lakeland. Anderson will drive. And there's the foul, oh, and he gets the roll. He's saying he wanted something checked at the monitor, and of course any contact to the head, especially with an elbow, could be a flagrant call. He's very upset about that. And Camp. Kind of interesting that way, but like you said, with the two-way players and the affiliate players, you know pretty much the nucleus of your team before the draft. The member of the Red Claws that year kept coming over to the table when he'd be checking in and he would ask me what the score of the game was. During the game. Yep, just check it in, make sure, how, see how his Sparty was doing. And <laughs> at its finest right there. <laughs> Sometimes you got to do it. Oh, great flex cut inside and the bucket by Jay Wright. Good find. It's Anderson. Tough shot. Fouled by Bennett. And they have a chance at a four-point play. Play opportunities in the same half. Very rarely. And I'll tell you. Minutes of action. Chris, Devin Williams is checked out of the game. He just ran out of the arena, but not towards the downstairs locker room, towards the public restroom. Baseline shot up and good. And it's Alan Anderson's first points of the second half. Davis for a while, looks like they drew one up in the timeout. And again, Petroselli with good defense on the play as Anderson with a reverse layup. And now the Magic back up by one. And he finds Anderson with Bennett on him, as you mentioned. Gets Bennett up in the air, goes underneath and banks it off the glass. And the Red Claws want a timeout, and there it is with 18.8. What a shot by Anderson.